Hi, I'm George, and we're going to be continuing our work on moving towards getting silk touch to apply to this axe so that we can take that bee nest off of that tree and move it over onto the house. Now, in the last video, we did the first part of this, and that was to make this farm over here for sugarcane so we can make paper. Now we need to make some leather, get some leather, and we'll do that by working with some cows right there. Now, if you enjoy this video, make sure you hit that like button and, of course, Click on share and share as well. Also, don't forget to click on subscribe. I do a bunch of Minecraft videos every single week. And so you won't miss out on any of those. Make sure you subscribe and also, of course, hit that bell icon for the notifications. I do a lot of other videos as well. You can find out more about that on my channel. Okay, let's get to it. Now for us to move that bee nest, we're going to have to enchant this axe with silk touch. We can then take that off of the tree and put it someplace else. To get silk touch, we need an enchanting table. To get that full power, we need to have bookcases. And for bookcases, we need to have books. And that's, of course, why we have all that sugar cane for making paper and why we need to have the cows over here for getting leather. Let's just quickly first switch over here or switch our game mode. We'll go into survival mode. There we go. So now survival mode, that's fine. Now, cows are real easy to work with. You'll find cows all over the place. Just grab some wheat and they're gonna follow you around. There we go, easy to do. I'll scroll over here and they'll follow along. So real easy. All you need is just two cows to start off with. You can then begin to breed your cows and get all the cows that you need. Now for the leather, Cows only drop zero to two leather, and because of that, you may need to have a lot more cows. Now, to make the books that we need for making our enchantment stand full power, we're going to need 45 leather, so that means at least 45 cows. More likely than that, more than 45 cows. Okay, now first off, to get this wheat real, real easy, all you need to do is get some wheat seeds. Now, wheat seeds, just find some grass like this and begin banging on the grass and pretty soon there you go you'll get some seeds pop up doesn't happen all the time but happens fairly regularly i don't know exactly what the percentage is but pretty quickly you'll get some seeds down here just hit a bunch of this grass and you'll find your seeds okay so we have our seeds now we need to plant those these are all wheat seeds planting is easy just take a hoe right click on the ground and then right click with your seeds and there you go, you're all set. Let's just do one more of those. So real easy to plant wheat. I normally have a lot of wheat planted around my houses because it's real easy to make bread out of it and bread's an easy food stuff to carry. Now once the wheat grows up, it'll look like this. Simply click on that and it's going to give you wheat and also some seeds right down there. So you get both, you get wheat and seeds, there it is. And then go right back and tap in your seeds again and replant and we're all set to go. So real easy to get wheat, real easy to get your seeds just from the grass like that. And once you have the wheat, we're now ready to go ahead and breed our cows. Now, quick little trick here, and also a nice way to do some real fast kind of natural looking decoration for your area. I did that right along, and here we have all this grass and these flowers. If you get some bone meal, and of course you get that from taking care of skeletons. So if you get some bone meal, just click on the grass with your bone meal and there you go. You get a whole bunch of stuff happening very quickly and a lot of the will be seeds in there as well. So that's a great way just to add in some texture to an area that we have around here. And it looks real nice on this. Now for our cows, you're going to want to have your cows someplace where you can contain them. They will wander off. So having some kind of a fence is a real easy way to do this. You can't just put up, you know, just a bunch of dirt. They will try to climb over things. So you want a fence or a wall to contain them. But again, pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Of course, if you have a fence, you're gonna to wanna to have some lights around it. I have these, I think they just look nice with this house back there. You can use torches as well or any other lighting source. And you'll wanna put in some gates. I usually like putting in at least two. I have one right here and I have one more over here. That's because cows will try to walk out of an open gate. So to keep them corralled, what I'll tend to do is I'll just grab some wheat like this and I'll walk along the perimeter and I'll get all the cows to follow me over here somewhere. I'll then let go of that wheat. We can then quickly walk around over to this side and go in this gate 
and there we go, they're contained. Okay, now breeding cows, real, real easy. Just take some wheat, they'll come right to you, right tap on each one of your cows, there we go. They'll do whatever cows do, and there's that baby right down below there. Now just wait until the baby has grown up, and get our wheat out of the way, there we go. Wait until the baby has grown up, and you can then breed them again. Now to get a lot of leather, you want to have a lot of cows first. If you come in here and let's just call it harvesting, harvest one of your cows, then it's going to take you a long time to get that leather. So it's better just to do a lot of breeding first. And once your breeding is taken care of, then you can go ahead and harvest leather fairly quickly. I'm just going to pause the video right now and I'll bring it back up again. I'm going to wait for that one little cow there to grow up and we'll breed that cow again. That will give us four. As soon as you have four, you can then breed that into eight very quickly. While we're waiting here, let's just do one more thing with our cows real fast. Have a chance to do this. I'll spring up my inventory here. I'll grab a bucket. There we go. And let's just right click on a cow with a bucket and you can get a milk bucket. You can use that for a lot of recipes. And again, that's just a empty bucket and right click on your cow. Once we harvest, quote unquote, our cow will hopefully get some leather. You can see that right there. And we'll also get some raw beef, which is also a great food source. Just toss it into a furnace and cook that for cooked beef and you're all set to go. So these are the three things you can get from cows, the leather, the raw beef, and the milk bucket. Now there are other ways of getting leather. You can get leather from other animals as well. You can get leather from rabbits. If you take rabbit hides, you can craft four rabbit hides into one leather. So you can get leather that way. You can also get leather from horses or from donkeys or from mules or even from llamas. So you don't have to deal with your cows to get leather. It's just the easiest and fastest way to do that. Okay, I'll go ahead and pause the video again and let that little guy grow up. It can take several minutes, so I'll come back online here again as soon as that guy is grown. Okay, I've bred these cows up, so now I have four cows here. And now things can begin to go relatively quickly. Just grab your wheat and then right tap on a couple of cows, right tap on two more cows, and you're going to get two babies very fast. As soon as those two guys grow up, you can then do three sets of cows. That will give you three more babies. It begins to get up pretty fast, pretty quickly. The only real problem here, the only slow part, is just waiting for these little guys to grow up. And it can take a little bit for these guys to grow up and keep on breeding. So you need to get at least 40, 45 cows before we can begin having enough cows to get enough leather to make all of the books that we need for our bookcases. Now, once we have our cows all bred and have a lot of cows in here, that's when you begin to quote unquote harvest our cows just sounds better that way and then you can get that leather now i'm going to be doing this off camera it's a little bit much so i'll do it off camera and then as soon as i have the cow taken care of we'll see what we've dropped from the cow i'll do a couple of these so we have some leather we'll see what that looks like okay there we go on that cow i got one piece of leather and two raw beef so that's how you get your leather now you won't always get leather from a cow. You should always get raw beef. You won't always get leather. So it may take even more than 45 cows to get enough leather. But there we go, we have our leather now. Let's take a quick look and we'll make a book. Let's just go out the side door here. There we go, we have our paper already. And now we just need to take the paper and take that leather and let's go ahead and make a book. Okay, all the way into the house. Back over here, here's the basic stand for all of this. There is my crafting table. And let's see what I got. I got my paper right there. There it is. And I have my leather right there. Now it's really easy to craft a book. Let's just put one leather up there, take our paper. And there we go. There's one book. That's all you have to do. So pretty easy to make your books. And again, you need to have 45 of those books to be able to make enough bookcases to put around the enchanting table to make this thing full power. So there we go. That's how we can get our cows. That's how we can breed the cows, get as many cows as we need to have, and then use those cows to get leather and use that leather to make books. You probably want to make a few more books anyway. I'd say make a nice round 50. That way you can actually enchant some books and save those enchantments for later. So there we are. That's working with our cows, and we're partway there. The next thing we'll need to do is to make those bookcases and get those ready to go. 
and then we'll have to go and do some mining and find some minerals so we can then build that enchantment table. Okay, now if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to click on share as well. And also, of course, make sure you subscribe so you won't miss out on any of these videos in the future. Click on that bell icon just to make sure. And take a look at my channel. I do a lot of other videos as well, not just Minecraft videos, but I do a bunch of videos every single week. Okay, and I'll see you next time.